Alright, welcome back to another Mech Lab Monday. Today we are doing the Elysian Field Start. So you'll notice that we're on a Word of Blake planet, uh, the event that's going on during December. So for the next several Mech Lab Mondays, uh, Word of Blake has conquered some various planets in various areas. Um, but we are in Elysian Field Space, we will be probably traveling to that half skull planet right there. But first, let's take a look at what kind of bushwhacker we get. And we got ourselves the S2 variant. Alright. Check out this mech bay, Commander. Pretty great. So right? that is the bushwhacker like that has the LB10 and SRM Hollies. Which uh yeah, I mean bonus accuracy and as long as the enemy doesn't have AMS, there's no downside, right? In any case, as usual, we are going to immediately just scrap the bushwhacker and we have a Wolverine standard AC5 SRM medium laser, all right? We have a stealth which yeah, uh Double heat sink kit, XL engine, nice. SRMs, medium lasers, enough speed to get in close. Looking good already. Uh, we got an assassin, which has medium laser LRM5 SRM2. We're definitely gonna put some work into that thing. Uh, we got a locust, okay. Double medium laser, double machine gun, alright. And we have a wasp with periphery rifle and an agra laser. Okay. So let's quickly hop in the store, see if there's anything interesting. Um I mean, there's a light rifle. If they ha if it has the armor shred ammo, I will absolutely field the light rifle. It just has regular light rifle ammo. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up just in case we find the armor shred ammo. Or maybe, maybe we'll end up sticking it on like the locust or something. I don't know. In any case, uh, I think the LRM20 is gonna be too heavy for anything we do. So I think that's about it. That's about it as far as that shop goes. Let's see, the Wolverine. We definitely need more armor. And we got Pharaoh and an XL engine from the Bushwhacker. Probably gonna go into our 55 ton mech. Um, 275 core is the highest we've got. If we drop the jump jets, how much tonnage do we now have? Oh, also double heat sink kit. Although then again, with the only energy hard point being in the head, I don't think we're going to need the double heat sink kit, honestly. Hmm. So AC5 and LB10 have the same range. So there's, yeah, there, there's no reason to not upgrade to the LB-10. And I could bring Cluster and Slug, but uh, LB-10, Cluster has 10 shots. That's plenty. Also, it has no minimum range, unlike the AC-5. So, that's just a straight upgrade. Hmm, but what do we do? I mean, AMS, eh. Yeah. I mean, I saw an LRM-20. So maybe... 
maybe the play is going to be converting this SRM2 streak into another SRM6 from the um, from the the other mech that we were just looking at that I'm going completely blank on. Um, so four more SRMs, pretty good. Um, we could easily do that just by dropping the jump jets. Yeah, this thing's fast. 710 with a mask. And as long as we have nothing in the legs we care about, it doesn't really matter if the mask crits. I mean, other than, you know, losing a bunch of stability and potentially getting knocked down, but... As far as the mech won't die from the mask critting. Because I'm thinking, maybe, this LRM-20 is going to find its way into... We're going to need two tons of ammo anyway. So yeah, I think this Wolverine is going to actually be carrying an LRM-20 in addition to its AC-5. Or maybe the LB-10, if we can't find a better place for the LB-10. There is no better place for the LB-10. Okay, so that's settled then. Actually, we, we might keep single heat sink cooling. We might. Uh, what are we doing? XL engine, boom, Pharaoh, boom. All right, dropping the jump jets. Dropping in the LRM-20, beautiful. So that's 16 heat, that's three heat. So yeah, we, we are great with single heat sinks actually, just because we don't have the hard points to really generate heat. I actually might even put the AMS in. Oh no, I haven't thought that far ahead yet. So we need ammo. One double bin of LRM ammo should be plenty. That's uh, 20 shots per round. So we've got about 14 rounds. 14 and then a little bit. So that's good. LB-10, again, the cluster is 10 shots, that should be enough. And then, can we max armor? I wonder why it does that. So we're not going to be able to max armor with the LRM-20. Actually, we, we can just drop these heat sinks. take a hair off of shield arm. Oh, this is the AC-5, this is not the LB-10. Ah, okay. Okay. So there is a bit of a tonnage issue. But if we had Indo or Gyro upgrade, that would be negligible. So do I stick with the AC-5? Or do I convert to the LB-10? I mean, this is the only mech that can use the LB-10. Nothing else has, none of the other heavier mechs, or medium mechs, I should say, have a ballistic hard point. So, this is definitely the best place for it. And it is an upgrade from 45 to 60. Plus, the cluster actually does more damage. and has higher crit chance. I mean, I could just shave armor. Because we need that much ammo. I really like the idea of the LB-10 and the LRM. That's, that's 160 damage. And then the medium laser, when we're in range for it, is in the 25. 185 damage early game is not a, you know, it's no joke. 
So I think I'll see... I mean, two tons of armor. It's going to be a bit. Uh, that's only one ton. I mean, is there ever a world where we're actually getting in range to use the medium laser on a regular basis? Like, without the medium laser, we have no real need nor desire to get close. We can absolutely just hang back. So this thing is much stronger at range, and it does more damage than the default loadout. 45, 70, 130 has been upgraded to 180 at longer range, or 160 at longer range. And then we even have an ER large laser, which with a structure and gyro upgrade and the double heat sinks would actually be viable, I think. Like, I think that would absolutely be viable. We would just need Indo as well as the gyro upgrade. But I think that's how we're gonna run that. Again, reach out and touch someone. Long range is good range. I'll let you know when that's done. So, stealth. This thing is... Yeah. Like, it's fast. So, the short range weapons are fine. It's really fast. Uh, we drop the streak. Drop in the SRM-6. Drop in another bin of ammo. So that gives us two extra tons to work with. Huh. I mean, I guess just armor. And yeah, I know. I have the ammo in the side torso. That's because I want to be able to use the mask. And inexperienced pilots plus mask equals crits. Alright. That's build. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. The assassin. The Assassin has LK SRM ammo. So we can put the SRM 4 Hollies here. Is dropping the jump jets enough to upgrade that medium laser to a large laser? Almost. But then we wouldn't have any tonnage for armor, so no. No. Um. I mean. LK ammo? That's 100 shots, right? So that's like 12 Alpha Strikes? That's fine. That's fine. And then just armor? I think that's the play.
Yeah, I think it's just armor. Okay. So, shave off some back armor. Okay. Shield arm armor. Bring those down to 90, I guess. And then bring this down to 100, and we still have tonnage problems. This thing had, like, no armor. There we go. Um, it has more armor than it did. It has a lot more armor than it did. But it's more accurate because the SRM4 Hollies are plus one accuracy. It's doing more damage. But yeah, we gave up the range of the LRM, but the SRM and LRM together, like, if you're in optimal range for the SRM, you're in minimum range of the LRM. So, they don't work the best together. Now we have one range profile, we just get in close and we stay in close. So, cool. Log and no. Now we've got a locust and a wasp. Which one are we going to use? Uh, I mean... Two medium lasers and machine guns versus... Periphery rifle, a medium laser agra. Hold on a minute, this thing has hard points. Okay, it has minus six heat sink tons. So we need all those heat sinks. But we can replace the aggro laser with a regular medium laser. And we can potentially add a streak SRM too. I mean, there's no way that we're going to be able to get the extra tonnage to use the AC-5. Like, that's not an option. That's 2.5 tons, 3.5 tons, 4.5 tons. Yeah, even if we strip all of that out, we're not able to even get the regular, like, just the AC-5 in, much less the ammo. So no, this is, this is fine. This is fine. And the, the light rifle is not that much of an upgrade from the periphery rifle. It's not worth the extra two tons for the 10 damage. And the 60 meter range. Yeah, like... Light rifle upgrade is not, not significant. Alright, uh, we have an active probe. Sure. And then we have a ton for uh, armor. Give them a little bit more head uh, head protection, and I think that's how we play it. And then the locusts we ignore because friends don't let friends pilot locusts. Alright. Navigation, half skull planet, go! Alright, we've arrived. However, I realized uh, I forgot to build the mech bay too. So we still got uh, we still got some time to build. Um I mean, tanks are force multipliers if you get a good one.
but I'm not seeing anything great. Like hover tanks especially, because they just dodge bullets so well. There's the AC2, Flamer, LRM5. Yeah, nothing exceptional. Alright. So, we still got some work left. Uh, 30 days. Oof. Well, I guess uh, better late than never. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Those upgrades you asked for? Online, Commander. Okay, so we got the hell of a deal event. Of course we've got to. So, uh, let's see what kind of mech we got. We got a Hollander. That mech you asked for is cleared for fighting. Not gonna lie, nice to see you, I think I would rather have the Hollander than the Wasp. Thing's got a Goss Rifle. All it has is a Gauss Rifle, but it's got a Gauss Rifle. Alternatively, we could drop the Gauss Rifle, put in the AC-5, armor up. So if we drop the Gauss Rifle, we drop in the AC-5. not repair. And then we armor up. We still have tonnage left. We could absolutely go AC5 ER large laser. Except we already used the double heat sink cooling. Because that would have actually been an absolute thing that we could have done. Double heat sinks, AC5, ER large laser. Of course, then again, that would have only been 90 damage compared to the 75 at longer range. But there's literally nothing we can do. Like, it needs the engine heat sinks, so we can't do anything there. It, yeah, it needs the double bin of Goss ammo because a single bin is. Wait. No, I think a single bin would be fine, right? Single bin's 10 shots? No, single bin's 8 shots, so yeah. We would need a ton and a half of Gauss Rifle ammo just to be able to use it. So if we drop it, it's going to have almost no armor. Or it's going to have just an AC-5. This would actually be a really good light mech for AMS Mark II, or Advanced AMS. Have like an AC-5 as its primary weapon, and then just have AMS to protect the lance. But for now, I think... I think the Wasp is going to actually be more reliable, because I think it has more armor. We'll have to wait till it's finished to see. But if I do drop the Hollander, it's going to just be the way it is. There's not really anything I can do to... Wait, actually, let me check the store. So there's an AC-2. Yeah, there's no... Because a, a regular large laser would actually work there. Uh, the ER large laser generates like twice as much heat. So a regular large laser would be 40 damage instead of 45 at slightly less range, 600 instead of 800. But it would not generate so much heat that we need a double heat sink kit. Regardless, uh, we're almost done. Oh, we also... You know what, by the time it's... By the time the mech bay is done, we would already be done repairing anyway, so... Yeah, uh, remember to build your mech bay early on, your mech bay too. It's very helpful. Alright, so back to the mech bay. We have our wasp with 320 armor versus the hollander with 380. The hollander actually has more armor.
The wasp is a bit faster, though. But it doesn't have a Gauss rifle. Yeah, no, we're using the Hollander. <laughs> we are absolutely using the Hollander. Let me jump in the barracks real quick, skill everyone up very quickly. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Training confirmed, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And in case, uh, in case you've been wondering, or if maybe if this is your first uh, Mech Lab Monday, the reason I go 4-4 on everyone for gunnery and tactics, or at least try to, uh, is because that actually gives you the best early game spike of accuracy. The 4 tactics helps with the sensors to actually not get the no sensors penalty. It also helps a bit with the sight to not get the no sight penalty. And gunnery, of course, just gives base hit chance. So, for very little investment, for 3,000 experience, you can get to gunnery four tactics four from the straight threes. So, that's the the best bang for your buck if you're going for early game accuracy. Now then, command center. Let us find a one and a half skull mission. One and a half skull assassinate. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? So we have our Wolverine. Our Wolverine has an LB-10 with two recoil and an LRM-20. So we want somebody who's military. So somebody like Beagle. Um, El Duce. Exodus. Popo. I mean, sure. Then again, no, I want somebody with four tactics. Yeah, sure. Then we've got the stealth with its SRMs and its mask. So we want somebody with four piloting, since that's the highest we've got. So we have our commander, who is brave assassin ex-military lucky. And then we've got Beagle, who is ex-military mech warrior commander. I think I'll actually take Beagle over the commander. We have our Assassin with the SRM-4's medium laser, and that's about it. So I think Reckless will be good. Then again, yeah, no, 710 we would not be able to get to 6 Evasion, I don't think. But actually, would I rather have Reckless on... I think I'd rather have Reckless on the Gauss Rifle, actually. Sure. Something like that. And then we have a J. Edgar. I mean, it's a rocket chem laser J. Edgar, but... Okay. I mean, it's a hover tank with 500 armor. So... Okay. Okay. Sure. Actually, no, let's get the, the four tactics online. Yeah, sure. Yep, I know. One and a half skull assassinate. Alright, we got ourselves one and a half skull assassinate with a half star lance. Ah, uh, Mech Lab Monday. Of course, compared to the challenge run, this is uh, not that terribly different. Alright, so he is up here somewhere, and we can actually drop right next to him.
So I'm pretty sure he said it was here. Although I kind of want high ground. Can I... Can I get some high ground here? We're just going to go with the classic drop everyone in a single point strategy. So yeah, we are going to have high ground on the target. We also see... Uh, some kind of supporting lance here above us. Receiving you. Either that or the whole supporting lance is just uh, scattered. That's strange. All right. Moving to position. First mech moving. And that's a ripper. I'm not super worried about it, but... Let's see if we can't take it down. At least they're firing indirectly with lerms. Even though they're, you know, heat lerms, but... They're firing indirectly. So... Their accuracy is abysmal since they have no sensors. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's overkill. No kill like overkill. Let's move. What do you need? Yeah, our stealth is pretty zoomy, actually, even without the mask for evasion. Okay, it sounded like artillery that went wide. Damage is minor, Commander. Or maybe it was some kind of auto cannon. Yes, Commander. Eh. Get the J Edgar hovering in there. Just trying to get visual on the target, really. Yeah, not, not going to use the rocket packs at a 4%. Oh, actually, those are rocket packs, not rocket launchers. So they actually have multiple shots. Uh, reserve. Our target is a Jenner. Really? Well, okay then. Okay. And then we have a hell spawn. Okay, so um standing by. Like this might actually be a kill. Receiving you. Never mind, I forgot our hit chances are garbage because it's early game. <laughs> Watch the flank. Watch the flank. Our hit chances are so bad. But on the bright side, so are theirs. What's up, boss? I mean Can you just like kill the Irby? Roger. VTOL Irby. Please kill it. Nope. Watch my six. Yeah, we definitely need to hover propulsion destroyed. Great. Coming apart around me. But he can still move somehow. Okay. You know what? 27%, but we have rocket packs. So... Yeah, we've got five shots. Alright, that's a kill. 
So now we can turn around and start fighting this Hellspawn. So much fire. I'm showing minor damage. Like our Hollander with just a Gauss rifle is almost overheating just from the heat damage. That's crazy. Got it. Okay. Standing by. Hollander is actually going to walk right here. Moving to position. And again, try to take down the Verbi. Firing a full salvo. Nope. Waiting for orders. All right. That's fine. Alright, go ahead and get three evasion. Ah, those were tandem rockets. Okay. And the Verbi already used its rockets. Alright. So yeah, Hellspawn is really the only concern. We have a 20% fail chance. Success! We can actually get 6 evasion. That... that is nutty. Roger. That is nutty. Sure. Confirmed. Yeah, the Irby just has probably a rifle of some kind. Commander? Oh, now we can't move. Well, okay then. No shooting, just running. Acknowledge. Yeah, tandem. The the hover propulsion crit. Completely took that, uh, took our, our hover tank out of the fight. Now, okay, I could have gone towards the reinforcements or towards the supporting forces instead of towards the target whenever the, I saw that the hover propulsion was crit. But, uh, yep. eh. I mean, either way is valid. Oh, wait, what am I doing trying to get closer? <laughs> Uh, I'm using an LB-5 with cluster ammo. And an LRM. I do not want to get close. I want to keep my distance. Got it. Like that. And... Vigilance and fire. Standing by. Now the mask has a 40% fail chance. Alrighty. Hellspawn is actually kind of scattered damage all over. Alright, well. Can we get four and shoot the Hellspawn? No, it does not look like we can. We can get four and shoot the Bulldog. It's actually a really good hit chance. Throttle down. Sure. Now. Receiving you. All right, the assassin. Can the assassin get four and shoot the health spawn? No. No, it cannot. Okay. Well then, sure. No, Same deal. Just running. Got it. Same deal then. I mean, it's fine. This is in the bag. At this point, it's just a matter of how much you know damage are we going to take Ready in the process. Loaded. Hit chance against the Verbi is lower now. 
weird. All right, fall back a little bit. As soon as it hits. <laughs> I mean, the Vervi does seem to have for something orders. big. Sure. Locking on target. Rocket packs apparently have a pretty good range on them. 30 damage each. What? Oh, okay. That must have been like a pair of pirate medium lasers or something. Or something. I don't know. In any case, continuing on the hell spawn. He'll spawn going into our back because positioning badly is bad. My internals are taking a beating. And this bulldog is completely open on the side. So who am I going to finish him off with? The assassin with the SRM fours and the medium laser, or the stealth with the SRM sixes and the medium lasers? I think the board. assassin. It's more accurate, but it's less damage. Because we only need it a little bit. Alright. That was a move, right? Yeah, good. And firing. Just slowly grinding through the hell spawn, and just waiting for our Goss to finally hit the Verbi. One of these days. Yes, Commander. One of these days. And it wasn't even a kill. How close was it to a kill? Not even. Wow, that thing has so much armor. What? Ready for order. Oh, that's crazy. All right. <clears throat> well then. Affirmative. I guess we uh, just. Target. I mean, the hell spawn's more dangerous, right? Orders. I don't even know. Acknowledged. Alright, so the Hellspawn has LRM-30 Pirate. So yeah, it's it's more dangerous. The Splash is more likely to actually hit us than the AC-10 Kaliyama. Also heat in the desert. Lots of armor. Ready for orders. And since our stealth has no weapons in the uh, in the side or in the arms, we can actually get a punch in along with all of our short range weapons. So let's confirmed. Locked on for physical attack. Okay. Fair enough. Good enough. Still a kill. Still good enough for a kill. Woo, we destroyed the rocket it already fired. Yeah, for some reason I was really thinking the Gauss Rifle was going to one-tap it. Two hits will do, though. Alright, so that's basically a financial report. We took armor damage only. Except for our vehicle, which got crit out, but whatever. Um, Yeah, I mean, the Bulldog actually... For a primitive tank, the four times rocket tandem rocket twenty 
That thing can easily one-shot a vehicle. That's that's actually really strong. But then once it's out of the rockets, all it is is two large chem lasers, so... Eh. Uh, speaking of large chem lasers, I mean... Between 31 and 49 damage. 600 meter range, like... Yeah, they're, they're the same tonnage as a clan large laser if you're using just a single bin of ammo per large chem laser, which is 10 shots. So 4 tons instead of 5 tons for the Intersphere large chem laser. Medium chem lasers, you have to actually be running multiple for it to actually be worth it because one bin of ammo is way too much for a single medium chem laser. Regular medium laser, uh, Valiant Esserums, I'm actually a big fan of. Just the, the double crit chance is very strong. Um, Artemis, just plus one missile accuracy. I would absolutely take that and slap it onto one of the mechs that we have. Um, heat sink double, it's always good to have. And... LRM LK, absolutely would go with our LRM 20. Esterim Deadfire, sure, why not? And that's that's a that's a mission against Periphery State. <laughs> I think I would actually take the Tandem Rocket 20. Because there's not really anything else worth taking. Alright. Alright, so we've got 34,000 sea bills of repairs. No big deal at all. Uh, we're actually just going to. I'm going to cut to them all being repaired. Alright, so let's see what we can do with what we got. Uh, so that LK ammo... Alright, <laughs> does the store have a single bin of LRM ammo? It does not. Okay, so we would actually need a single bin of LRM ammo. To so be able to use the LK. Uh, that's fine. What else did we find? I, I actually had to step away for a minute. <laughs> oh, we actually got the Kaliyama. Huh. Um. Yeah, what all did we pick up? Uh, the tandem rockets I have no actual use for. Um, off the top of my head. I thought we got... Oh, yeah, we got some SRM dead fire ammo. So... One of our mechs, I believe, is running two bins of ammo. Yes. So we are absolutely going to use a bin of dead fire as well as a bin of standard SRM. So now we have even higher damage potential. Potentially 15 damage per missile. 12 missiles. That's uh, a lot. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, it's, uh, that's 120 plus another 60. So that's 180 from just the SRMs if we are using the dead fire. So that is exceptional. And that, I think, is also totally worthy of the Artemis 3 fire control system for plus one accuracy. So that thing is quite dangerous. Um, the mask, I mean, I was able to use it once. <laughs> but yeah, it's good if you just, if you just gotta get in close. Uh, other than that, I mean, we didn't really get much good stuff. Not really. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. So, I believe I'll go ahead and stop there. So that has been the Mech Lab Monday for the week. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.